do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have studied what is oxidation and what is reduction so now we are going to study a new concept that is what is oxidant and what is reductant so let us study about it. so before understanding what is oxidant we should know the definition of oxidants so let us see what is the definition a substance that causes oxidation is called as oxidant or oxidizing agent or a substance which helps to do oxidation is known as oxidant so the another definition of that could be an oxidant itself get reduced by accepting electron so in this case accepting electron means what in the last lecture we have studied the one who accepts electron is nothing but it is doing the reduction process so that means oxidants are the molecules or the atoms or the substances that undergo reduction process and that causes the other substance to lose electron so therefore this are the substances which helps the other substance to lose their electron and this substance that is oxidants take their electron towards themselves so therefore oxidants are behaving like a reduction process so let us talk about the another one that is so let us see about reductant a substance that causes reduction is called as reductant or reducing agent so therefore this helps in the reduction process and what it can do reductant itself gets oxidized by losing electron and causes the other substance to accept electron so basically this reductants are the substances that loses electron and the substance which loses electron we have did the definition earlier also that a substance will lose electron shows oxidation process for this reductants or this reducing agent itself undergo oxidation which means they show oxidation process by losing electron and they let the other substance to gain that electron so this is how the reductants and oxidants are differentiated with each other so let me give you a clear idea by giving an example this is the example that we have earlier did in redox reaction and this is a redox reaction itself so in this case as we can see the zinc which is solid is now been converted into zinc ion which is in aqueous solution and talking about the copper solution that is cu2 plus which is also an aqueous solution it will get reduced into a solid copper so let us see what all kind of reactions are been happening or are been occurring in this chemical equation as we can see zinc is been converted into zn2 plus since zn that is zinc has occupied 2 plus oxidation state so that means it has lost electron and the total number of positive charge will be equal to the total number of negative charge that is the total number of electron so in this thing zinc is behaving like an oxidation process so the process that is been occurring here is nothing but oxidation while when we observe cu2 plus ion so in this case cu2 plus ion is been converted into cu solid so this is only possible if cu2 plus ion have accepted two electron i would write it in this way so the reaction that is occurred by cu2 plus is nothing but reduction by accepting two electron so as we know the oxidants are nothing but the species that or the substance that undergo reduction so in this case who is undergoing reduction exactly this cu2 plus is undergoing reduction and which one is behaving oxidation 
process in this case zn that is zinc is showing oxidation process and hence in this case zn will behave like an reducing agent while the copper 2 plus which shows reduction process will be the oxidizing agent so this is how we can differentiate what is reductant and what is oxidant again let me give you an example by repeating it again oxidants are those who show reduction process while reductants are those who show oxidation process so this is how can we differentiate and please don't get confused between oxidation reaction and reduction reaction and oxidants and reductants people usually get confused so please keep this in your mind and i hope this will be very much helpful in the future so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have uh, got an idea what is oxidant and what is reductant so share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe ekda channel thank you so much